Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Music Den. I'm your host, Armando Venditti. Hoping you guys are having a good night. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason for this video is I got a package in the mail yesterday and I wanted to share it with you. And it's a very special package in my opinion. It is this package right here. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see is the, I guess you call it Super Deluxe, six disc reissue of 1976 from Thin Lizzy. Uh, what you have in this package is the reissue of Jailbreak and Johnny the Fox. The reason why it's called 1976, ladies and gentlemen, is because both albums were released in 1976. Jailbreak on March 27th of 1976, featuring the smash hit, The Boys Are Back in Town, and Johnny the Fox, which was released in October of 1976. Now, for those of you, the few of you who don't know the story behind the release of the albums, is that Thin Lizzy released Jailbreak. They were on tour in the States, and Phil Lynott, lead singer, bass player, main songwriter, came down with hepatitis. And as was the custom at that time, when you came down with hepatitis, you had to leave the country. Okay, the same thing happened to Brian May when Queen were on tour for Queen 2 in 1974 and when they were supporting Mount, Mount the Hoople. So the band came off the road, and while Phil Lynott was recovering from hepatitis, he began writing songs that would eventually become the songs for Johnny the Fox. Now, in this collection, again, it's a five CD, one Blu ray audio collection. Uh, CD1, you have the original mix of Jailbreak and the new 2024 stereo mix. On CD2, you have the original mix for Giant of Fox. And you also have the new 2024 stereo mix. On CD3, you have Jailbreak outtakes, plus BBC sessions that were done on March the 9th, 1976, containing four tracks such as Emerald, Warriors, uh, Cowboy Song, and Jailbreak. On CD4, as I'm reading here, you have the Johnny the Fox outtakes. Plus, you also have uh, BBC sessions that were done on the 11th of October of 1976 for Johnny the Fox. CD5 is the reason to purchase the set, aside from the other information, you have a bonus concert from the uh, 11th of May, 1976. So uh, there's a lot of musical content on this. And the Blu-ray audio has the uh, Dolby Atmos mix of both albums. And you also have the new stereo mix, 2024 version of both albums on the Blu-ray audio. Now, as I said, there's a lot of information on this set. Forgive me while I just put this over here. Bob is off camera helping me, guys, because this is a lot of information to uh, to bring to you, and I need physical help here. Now, in this set, you get a book um, of information on the tours for the two albums. Essays written by Scott Gorham, lead guitarist, one of the lead guitarists for the band. Um, this book contains uh, pictures of the band on tour, uh, sleeve sleeve covers for uh, photos from the 45s, singles that were released. But I wanted to show this rend rendering specifically to you. Is that a fox or what? As you can see that. I mean, fantastic rendering, right? It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, again, there's a lot of information. Uh, there's essays, again, written by Scott Gorham, um, recounting tours that they did at the time with Aerosmith, Rush, uh, BTO is also mentioned, Bachman, Bachman Turner Overdrive. Thank you, Bob. And you also get the sleeve containing the discs in the set, and it opens up in a three-panel uh, format. Bob is just getting it ready for me here.
as you can see, all the six discs in the set on Mercury slash Vertigo slash Universal Music. Fantastically put, you know, separated and easy to access in this uh, uh, triple panel folder. I guess you call it envelope. Um, again, it's a lot of information to sonically digest all in one sitting. So that's the beauty of this package. You can sit and listen to it at your heart's content. And I've already listened to um, one track, uh, no, two tracks, my apologies, of the um, from the new 2024 uh, remastered version or, yeah, from the set, a live track called Little Darling that was done at in Cleveland on May 11th. And it is simply fantastic. Heavy guitars, heavy drumming, brutal, brutal guitar work from Brian Robertson and Scott Gorham. You know, those two together were just amazing. Now, in terms of price point, um, I purchased this for 120 bucks on Amazon.ca. Right now on Amazon.ca, the price has been reduced and it's going for $110. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of these two albums, which I know a lot of you are, you have hit pay dirt. If you choose to to get this, you will be sitting and listening to this, listening to this for hours. And if any of you out there know the quality of musicianship that Thin Lizzy was able to bring to you in terms of live performances, this concert in Cleveland is a must-have. Okay, so please check it out. You can stream some of the tracks, uh, like Little Darling, and some of the uh, some of the stereo uh, 2024 stereo mixes. Sorry, from the uh, from the box set on YouTube. Again, don't take my word for it, please. For some, it's a lot of money to spend if you can't afford it. So stream it first, listen to it, and then go get it. Okay, um, I do think that they packaged it very well. Um, I think that the box that they used, the format that they used is very compact in terms of other boxes, you know, the oversized boxes that you get uh, with some of these collections. I think it's done very well. They did the same type of packaging for the Live and Dangerous box set that came out about a year and a half ago. I'm, I'm telling you what, guys, if you are a Thin Lizzy fan, and if you don't have these two albums, I, I don't have these two albums um, as standalone CDs. So when I saw this come up, I jumped on the chance to get it. So please get it. And once you do, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Anyways, that's it for now. Um, please look after yourselves and one another. And click like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep yourselves on top of any new content I've got coming up. I've got new shows coming up with Jim Bricker. We're going to be doing an album discussion on uh, Stephen Wilson on Hand Cannot Erase. That's coming up and uh, more ideas and more shows coming. So please, again, look after yourselves and one another, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye for now.